G'day everyone, Viv here. Hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. Another really quick update. Uh, Scott's working on that tribal table. You may have seen the video. If you have not seen the video, you can click on this little image here and that will show you the video. Otherwise, he's just come and show me some forest stands that he's working on that we're going to make a bunch of, or I should say he's going to make a bunch of, which we can put all over that table. So let's have a real quick look. No fancy editing, so I hope no one's going to feel sick. So there we go. Is there a figure here? There's no figure. That's the size of my thumb, right? So one knuckle, an inch. So they're, they're, they're pretty substantial, but not overly massive. They look pretty good in my opinion. And uh, a whole bunch of aquarium plants and stuff. Let's have a look. So you're making another one now. Making a bunch of them, yeah. Making a bunch of them. So what have you done? Uh, I've taken these cheap aquarium plants. We've got a bunch of palm trees and stuff. You can see the foliage there. Stripped them off so that we can paint the trunks. Um, then built up a base, we'll sculpt them all, just hot glue them on there. And that's a little MDF base? That's a little MDF base. Because there's a stack of them over there that they we just sure cut on the laser. Yep. We've got a box full of them. And then... So did you tr you glue the tree on first, right? And then sculpt yes, the mold around it? Yes, and then it. build it up with sculpt the mold. Yep. Then painted the trunks, as you can see. Just painted the whole thing brown. Just dry brush the trunks quickly with grey. Did you paint them first or just dry brush them? I painted you them painted brown. Them. Yeah, I painted okay. the whole thing Did you brown. Just spray them. No. No. Just, just with a brush. It. Yeah. Painted the whole thing brown. Quickly dry brushed them with some grey, and now I'm just gluing various bits of aquarium plant on the top and on the bases, and then put a bunch of flocking materials. So you put the aquarium on plants them. on first. Yep. Where's that example gone? So you put the aquarium plants on first, and then fill in all the blank detail. Yeah, the aquarium plants then. Put PVA over the whole, everything that's exposed, then added a bunch of moss, then some tufts, uh, some other foam flocking, and then a little bit of sawdust That's got a little flock on it, doesn't it? This stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Is, it, is that the sawdust flock? Yeah, I just use that to, yeah, I just use that to fill the gaps after the... Okay. And that's stuff we've made, isn't it? Yeah, that's stuff we made. If you want to see how to make your own flock, this is obviously just a green, but you can make it in any colour. You can click on this image here and it will take you to another video I have about making sawdust flock. Um, I'm going to put some of this clump foliage on there or do you think there's enough if going there's, on? If there's room, that one's got enough. I guess you want some variety. It. I've also got some bases out there that don't have any trees on it that I'm just going to do ground cover. Um, they're just drying outside. Sick. Is that, are they bananas over there? They are bananas, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, this one's cool. I don't know where it came from. Was that in the box of tree things? Yeah, it was. I've never seen it before. I don't know where it came from, but it's pretty cool. I wish we had more of them. Well, hopefully another box of them turns up somewhere. It's amazing sometimes we just find stuff with no idea where it comes from. Like those birch leaves you showed me before. You inherited a lot of stuff when the store was open. Yeah, true. It's nice to be using it all. Well, there we go. Real quick video, or review I should say, of these cool little forest stands and uh, once we get them packed out on that table, it's going to look amazing. Thanks Scott. See you later.